Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Rob, your local problematic Leo, and today on Dress to Kill, we're going to be taking a look at the Caliban Orfeo collection. Now, I did get a lot of requests from this in the previous video, so I'm not sure if you guys were having some trouble with the customization itself, or if you just need a little bit of inspiration. Either way, we'll jump into a little bit of that. I do have to give you a little bit of a heads up, though. Um, we are going to be taking a look at the lists... At like the end of the video, we'll do a little simulacrum action, and by lists, I mean like conculists, oculists, the other lists that I can't quite remember. So if you're curious about those, that will be towards the end. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look at what's included in the bundle. We have the Caliban Orfeo skin, the Slay Scythe skin, the Herodus Ephemera, and the Herodus decoration, which I have yet to place in my orbiter, but I'm sure none of you guys are surprised about that, all for 315 plat. So with that, of, that out of the way, wow, it's really early in the morning. You're gonna have to give me a little break on this one. Let's go ahead and get dressed. So as always, we kick things off with a little bit of a disclaimer. You can find the color codes for these customizations down in the description box below. R stands for row, C stands for column. The palette name should be in there as well. So all that's left is for you to use your common sense and execute wisely. Now, if you guys had watched the three deluxes video that I did for the Kome of the Five Fates update, this look should be very familiar to you. However, I did add a couple armor pieces. Now, one of the things that I do need to point out is... And you'll see this with some of the other customizations. I actually used a different chest piece on him than I do with the shoulders. Usually I like having a very cohesive set. However, uh, it doesn't always pan out. And you'll, you'll realize that when you're doing customizations that some things just don't look right. Like for me, I was taking a look at the AO Specs uh, chest plate. And they're just is something that does not feel right. I don't know if I feel like it closes up too much of like that open space. Um, and I think that the Umbra executes it a little bit better. It shares a lot of the same, uh, number one, it shares a lot of the same textures with the armor pieces because you know, sometimes, sometimes they'd be doing some weird textures and it's like one like smooth texture here, a rocky texture here is just not right. And I feel like these ones match up similarly and kind of like echo the same shapes. But you still get a lot of like the airiness in the midsection for Mr. Uh, Caliban. What is what is the name of this Orfeo? There you go, the Orfeo. Um, you'll also know that in other uh, circumstances, I'll actually leave out armor pieces. And that's what I've kind of learned over time is like, sometimes you don't need all the armor pieces to make it look right. Um, now... If you guys hadn't seen it in the previous video, we're going to take a quick look at it right now. Uh, the Herodus uh, um, Ephemera. As you guys can see, you can see all of the little hands and spirits trying to reach out and grab him because uh, I do believe he is modeled after a Spanish in in Inquisitor. Conquistador or Inquisitor. And you know, they just murdered a whole bunch of people. So... <laughs> It just serves them right, all the demons from hell trying to come up and grab them. Very like Agatha all along coded. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other, um, which calls ephemera that I feel looks well with this outfit, just in case you guys wanted to switch it up a little bit. I am a big fan of the Barahan ephemera. This one's actually from Nezaha Prime. I love these little dragony thingies. So if you were considering doing like a dragon warrior feeling, like this might be really cool. I love how it's got some of the energy effects that mimic what's going on there. I don't know what it's been lately. I don't know. I do love me some Katana Prime. The Katana Prime ephemera, I just feel looks very, very sexy on him. Um, mainly because of the fact that, I don't know, it's like gems and it's like a conquistador effect. Uh, so that one's also uh, one that I enjoy quite deeply. You guys know I've always been a fan of the Protovire ephemera as well. So it's just not too much. I don't do the whole big crazy thing. And you'll see a couple of the other ephemeras as we go on. Um, but the one thing that I wanted to point out, and I... I think it's because of the fact that he's got an energy effect built into him. Um, I really kind of like the Verve Ephemera. It gives this weird, like, twinkling effect. I'm just a little bit put off by, like, the gloves. But if you're looking for kind of, like, an all-over shimmer to him, to kind of, like, I don't know, make him look ethereal, I think that that could be a good, um, I think that that could be a good way to go. Oh, I didn't mean to equip it. It's okay. 
let's we, we'll go back we'll go back oh my god what was it again i've lost track of everything there you go we're back to that let's go ahead and take a look at the next look and we'll do a little discussion about how to actually do some customization now with caliban um i really wanted to focus on two different things you either pick the energy for the body and work off of that or you pick the color for the armor and you work off of that. So either start off with your emissives and energy, right? And get like a base color that you want to work with and then go in and start customizing around that. Or you pick the armor color and you start customizing around that. Now, as you can tell, I've kind of gone with a little bit of a theme here. I don't know what it was. I almost feel like I was inspired by like uh, Di the Diablo Angels. And I was like, ooh, let's do something, like, angelic, you know what I mean? Like, he's a conquistador. I don't, I don't know why I went into all of these things about, like, religion and, like, the history of it. But I will point out with the armor discussion, I really did not like the, um, the, what, what is it called? The emugi legs. So as you can see, I've actually left that off, and I feel like he's hovering, and it's kind of, like, appropriate for his, like, feet to be out. I was really... Um, tempted to put the avia uh, armor set on his legs to like have him floating there but we'll and you can if you want to but we'll talk about wings later now as you guys know one of the things that I don't like doing is really really like tacky back wings but I feel like if we're being thematic here I did want to go ahead and point out some Sayandanas that I feel will work well I also have to know there's there's this weird thing that's going on with the Sayandanas right now I don't know what it is but how how is that how is that a thing like why is it why is it so why is it like so bright yellow I, I feel like I need to like actually report that to DE because it's happening with a couple of different colors like, why is that, like, super bright red, but, like, this is actually the color it's supposed to be. It's, like, this color to this color to this color. Like, how, what's the, what's that transition? Where did, where did that come from? And it's happening, like, a lot, and I can't even, like, I can't even tell why. Like, why it's going from that color to that color. Anyway, I had to point that out while we're on Cyandana's. So, if for some reason you wanted to do some wings on him there is the arcturus signed on it this one isn't technically wingy right it's more like aura wingy it's soft it's almost like a fabric wingy but i, I feel like it's ethereal and it could go well with this there is also another one when we we're talking about like a dragony customization which you guys know i don't like the wings i kind of find them a little tacky but if we're here we're here right and this is the naru signed on this is tenogen and i feel like this fits quite well as well that is if you want to keep an ephemera on all right we have options if we want to swap ephemeras okay so that i actually think looks pretty dang cool with the setup that we already have and again it leaves your ephemera free but uh let's get out of that we'll leave the officium on good it's a normal color right now and then we'll go ahead and do the attachments uh not the attachments what is it called yeah no i was right the attachments so you guys know that of course we have the sanguine x i think that one looks kind of cool but I think you guys all know the one that we're going to end up going to is the Eros Wings, right? It just, it just kind of fits. He's already gliding. Toss that on there. But I do have a rule. If you guys are going to be using this customization, there is one thing that you must, 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 must do. Go ahead and go into your, where is it? Is it in? No, it's in sigils. Go to your back sigil. And I, I have prepped for this. I'm ready. Toss on the bloodshed sigil, just to make it a little bit more of a, a, a biblically accurate angel. <laughs> they must they must be a little bit frightening. They must be a little bit blood covered. Um, if you are going to go ahead and use this look and make it look all holy, you gotta dirty up a bit. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the final look. Maybe I should like hold on. Let me at least put it put put the uh, put the uh, what is it called? Oh my god. I can't even talk the ephemera correctly because it's it's going to be one of those ones that bug me. I was like, no, this is not what I have chosen for myself. I'm not going to run around with wings. It is too early in the morning for that. So there goes the Gloriana. We'll leave the blood on because I feel like it's just right. Okay. So before we go into the last one, 
This one is the one that I actually got the most hung up on, and it's because I kept going back and forth with the energy color. So we'll have the energy discussion in a little bit. Number one, I wanted to do something that was more colorful than the last set. So I really wanted to go with this kind of like blue red contrast. So as you can see right here, this is definitely more kind of like that dragony vibe feeling. But the issue is I couldn't decide on whether I wanted blue flames, which I think popped a little bit more when it came to the red armor. So, you know, I want, I really wanted the red armor. I started off with the armor, but I did want like something a little bit more oomphy when it came to the energies, because if you've seen the other energies and the other ones, they're all like a smoky purple blue or a smoky white blue. And I was like, Rob, you're doing another blue energy color. Don't do it again. But I, I don't know. I just feel like it looks more correct. And you can actually see the vestiges of it of, on the Cyandana because I went ahead and actually did it on the Cyandana. I was like, okay, we're just going to let that be there as a reminder. And I'll show you what a different energy color looks on this one. Um, now, as you can see right here, I actually went ahead when it came to the attachments. I used the Kritma. I'm not going to pronounce it right, but the glass like shoulder pieces from Tenogen, which I'm loving more and more, but I ended up using the Arrow's chest place because for some reason I felt like the scaling on the Kritma just, it, it just wasn't right. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, like as much as I love this, it, it sits too low. And I just, it just, I don't know. There's just something about it that does not feel quite right. So for me, I just went ahead and uh, used the EOS chest plate, the regular EOS chest plate, because again, we want to make sure that textures match across the board. Um, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the energy colors real quick because I did bookmark them. So let's go back and then we'll go ahead and swap them over. So this is one of the ways that I ended up having it because I felt like, well, let's do something fiery. And then I like, I liked it, but I also felt like maybe it's just too monochromatic, right? So I don't know. It's up for you guys to decide and you tell me which version you like better. I feel like this is like, a little bit more badass and a little more epic, but I'm not 100%. You let me know which one you guys feel more in tune with. I felt like the blue flames popped just a little bit more. Um, so with all of that set aside, let's go ahead and jump into the, um, what is it called? Into the, the thing, the, the, the place with the thing where, where we simulate things, the simulacrum. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and kick things off with look number one. Let's take a look at the, I don't know, it's one of the lists. It's the, I think these are the battle lists. And we looked at them last time. I really, really love the tone of the metallics on this. And I'm still kind of bummed that the gaseousness of this doesn't translate um, into, sorry, I like, I need to get, I need to get the chest part open doesn't mimic this, that always kind of makes me a little bit sad, but you know what, here we are. Orthalists, which are the gunny ones. Um, again, metallics I think look fantastic, and I do love, my favorite model is the Summalist. This thing just looks so freaking crazy cool. It looks like a weird dark priest, but that's that. Ooh, and I love the little texture on the little bottoms of it. Oh, it looks so good, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the way that they look in uh, the next appearance. I actually haven't seen some of these, so I'm kind of excited to see how these end up turning out. So again, we're starting off with the Summalist. Ooh! I love it. I love it with the energy effect too, because it looks all heavenly. It looks, it looks kind of like ominous. The Battlists. Don't look as, listen, we went from the sum list, which is my favorite, down to the ballast. Ooh, I love like how bright that is at the very, very bottom. All right, let's rotate into lastly. I don't really use uh, the whatever these are, the ortholists as much. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but they kind of look a lot like winged angels now. Or like, maybe not angels, maybe like evangelion <laughs> angels. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the last one in the way that these look. 
I did change back to blue, you guys. I, I, I don't know. I, I kept going back and forth, but I don't know if it, if it's the same for you guys, but some Warframes you just look at and you're like, no, you're this color. You are this color. And that's kind of how I feel with his energy color. Like, you are this color. So I, I think that actually that's probably... Actually, it's kind of... Oh, you know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of a Gundam. And I'm kind of into it. <laughs> See, I don't think he looks as cool in here. I don't think he looks as cool. I think he looks cooler in the other variations. And then the Battleist, last but not least. I think I really like this coloration specifically. Uh, oh my god, I love the crests on those guys. They look so good. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below if there's certain colors that you attribute to certain Warframes. Uh, because that's, I feel like that's definitely what's happening with Caliban. It's like a smokiness that's coming out. Like a bluey, gray, murky smoke. Um, anyway, that about does it for me for now. So as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. Don't forget to feed the, what is it? The algorithm. Ooh, I've tuned it out completely because I'm scared of it. Um, uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.